Grab a cocktail with us and welcome to the hot mess that is my life as a single makeup artist living in a college town in Florida. This is Kara's Lipstick Diary. We're back, you guys. Have you hit that subscribe button? We're back returning for the second part of the conversation about the O shot, the P shot, all of this fun stuff that sounds really intriguing and I kind of really want. So hit that subscribe button, leave us some love, let us know your thoughts and whether or not you really want to get the O shot too, because I know I do. <laughs> so uh, there is that, um, that. Yeah. Additional could benefit. Could be a benefit for some people. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it definitely seems to help with libido, sex drive. Because, All of that. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, and that's one of those things, again, as women, you know, oftentimes we hit our peak in our 30s and 40s or like. I know so many women who just are like, I don't have a sex drive at all. And that's really like kind of sad because it's kind of one of the greatest things about being a human is and being a female. I mean, we're the only ones who have a clit like that. Y'all men, y'all are missing out. You know, you think sex is about you, but really you're missing out. Like, um, so all women should be able to really enjoy that. So we also mentioned though, that there's a pee shot for men. What, what does this do? So how it, does this help the dudes? Yeah. Everybody wants to know that as well. <laughs> um, so much in the same manner. So again, it can help with sensitivity. It can help with blood flow. So we know that erections mm -hmm. for men are related to blood flow. Yeah. So if we can increase blood flow, then it's going to make erections better. Interesting. And we don't promise increase in size, but right. most of them do mention um, some slight increase. Well, because they are having more blood flow, which is allowing for it and to get larger. Collagen stimulation. Yeah. You know, everybody's about collagen. Oh, yeah. All I, well, and I was going to ask. I was Googling last night because, you know, that's what we do. Um, and I was looking up the O shot and it did mention um, because of the collagen that it can sort of make it look younger down there. Is that true? Absolutely. Okay. Because I've also noticed as, you know, as I age, I'm like, hmm, it doesn't look quite the same as it used to. Not quite the same. Um, so it does, the collagen helps bring that sort of back to, to the old way it was kind of. Correct. And um, Dr. Reynolds also teaches the wing lift, okay. um, which I can do. I mean, that's... Yeah. What, what the hell's a wing lift? <laughs> Again, she says these things and I'm like, I don't know what the hell she's talking about, but it sounds interesting. What is a wing lift? So that's um, going back to females yeah. now. Sorry, uh, we, we got over you guys real fast. Uh, <laughs> back to the women. That's what really matters. Oh uh, yeah. So wing lift is, is injecting PRP into the labia to help Interesting. it. So it, it vaginal rejuvenation. Yeah. Cause it definitely changes over time. Yeah. You know, gravity takes effect and collagen goes down and things start changing. Yeah. It, I was kind of surprised, you know, when all of a sudden I was like, huh, doesn't quite look the way it used to, which ladies also, by the way, please make sure you look at yourself sometime. I know way too many women who have never looked at their own like vulva. And I'm like, how, how, how? How have you never looked at this? Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I know when I was younger, I was told by my professor or teacher that, you know, we should look at ourselves. So like, I know what I've looked like over the years and it's definitely changed just like everything else has changed. Oh goodness. We're not and the PRP, same as we were at 22. Yeah. One other benefit of PRP is that it does draw fat into the area. So that's, I think it makes it plumper mm -hmm. and yeah, fills it in more. Right. So the men, you know, yeah. do like that as well. Um, so going back to them, yeah. we, we back to the boys. Yeah, I think that uh, for them and for females, uh, it helps boost confidence. Yeah. And I think well, that's one of the so biggest much issues. Of sex is confidence. Yes. I mean, and I think that's one of the things we, we sometimes don't talk about is the fact that so much of sexual pleasure and sex itself has to do with confidence, your mental state at the time. Um, and if you are doing something like this, it gives you that little boost. Um, it allows you to have a little extra confidence that you might not have had beforehand. Right. Absolutely. So I see a lot of the men coming to me for that. Yeah. Um, well, that, that it's not that it, it's, um, uh, not working. Yeah. It's that they want improved performance. Well, and I think a lot of guys don't talk about the performance isn't always consistent and constant and how many guys have performance anxiety I would say is more than like it's not that they're having a performance problem men physically it's more of an anxiety and this would give that little extra oomph yeah absolutely and I have uh, gentlemen that come Tallahassee like all over yeah. Florida 
Um, one gentleman lives in Trenton, and he was going to fly up to, like, New York or somewhere to get the same treatment. He didn't even know. And you're like, no, no, it's here, we're... too. Well, and we were talking when we were you were in my chair that, you know, it's, it's a hard thing to advertise that you do this service. Um, you know, and... I've noticed, like, I have trouble sometimes getting guests to come on the show because they're concerned about the subject matter. And anything that's sexually related is hard to advertise to the, the mass public because there's a stigma, there's a this, and people won't publish it, yada, yada. Um, so that's one of the things is getting the word out there that these services are around. Right. And I would just caution people to go to somebody like me that's a you know certified provider has oh, been, yes. has been doing this for a while yeah. so no no back alley <laughs> versions of this people like do you really want that in your mm -mm, um no i know I, I had a gentleman call and he said he had a pee shot done in um i think orlando for 100 bucks or something oh. and i said well how did that work out he goes i think i need another one I'm and like, you're like you think yeah so well and that's one of those things like I always love when there's like a Groupon for something that's like really kind of important. And I'm like, oh, oh, no, no, no. You don't no want Groupons. the Groupon. Don't get the Groupon for this because you're going to get something fucking weird. Um, like these are those things where you don't say I want the cheapest version because the cheapest version might screw you up permanently. Um, you don't want that. Um, so make sure you're paying the appropriate amount going to the appropriate person because otherwise, I mean, there can be some massive mishaps if it's done wrong, I would think. That's correct. And um, I think also my experience, yeah. you know, we mentioned a little yeah. bit about that. Um, but I was a urology nurse practitioner uh, starting out as Ooh. a nurse practitioner. And so I did get comfortable um, teaching men how yeah. to do injections for erections. Um, and then uh, I did also private gynecology for eight years. Well so, and that makes you less scary doing this. Right. Like if I'm going to someone who has no experience in any of that, I'm going to be a little hesitant. Um, you know all the different medical things that can go right and go wrong in those areas, which makes having you be the one to do these things uh, a little weight off the shoulders, a little breath of fresh air. Because it's, I mean, that's a scary area to have someone do something to you. Correct. And I've never had um, what we would call an adverse event or adverse reaction. Yeah. Number one, you know, it comes from your own body. So yeah. you're not going to have any adverse reactions to that. Because your body's already doing it. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it's antimicrobial. And I think, you know, it's injection technique. It's the right equipment. It's the right provider. Yeah. It, it's, it's a combination of things well, to make are... it successful. Well, and, you know, it's... If I'm going to have someone provide the service for me, I want to be comfortable with them. I want to be confident in what they're doing. Again, this is not a Groupon type thing where you go to some <laughs> random person in a back alley. Like, uh-uh. Because this is, it is kind of an intimidating, first off, you're all up in in my woman bits or your dude bits. Um, and then it's, you know, if it, you know, I want to make sure I'm going to someone who's going to do it right. And, you know, otherwise that's scary. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, I find this also fascinating. Like, I'm dying to get this now, you guys. Like, I'm like, I want, I mean, are we surprised, y'all? Like, it's me. Of course I want this. <laughs> um, but I'm so glad that, like, I had people coming to me asking me about this early on in the production of my show and that we were able to have you come on because I think these are all things that, again, we don't talk about enough. That there are these different things out there. And so many women are dealing with dryness. I mean, whether it's age, medication, whatever, so many women deal with that issue. I mean, so many women are going into perimenopause younger and younger, and that dries you out. Um, and it makes your libido go down. Um, and then, you know, this is just something that can be so helpful to your life. Um, you know, so thank, like, this is fantastic. I love, I love that you were like, I want to come on and do the show. I'm like, yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I say, women are getting perimenopause. I know multiple women who are in their 30s already who have perimenopause, and it means that they are drier. They're constantly having to use lubes, which are foreign substances going in their body. And I know for me, I'm reactive to a lot of those um, in not a good way, not a good way. Um, so to be able to then naturally lubricate again is such a, a benefit. It is. And also helping people... Um reach orgasm. Yeah. There's a lot of females that have never had an orgasm. They don't even know what it is. No, they think they've, when I talk to a woman and they say, well, I think I've had an orgasm. Honey, if you think you had one, you didn't have one. Mm -hmm. Like 
And that to me is just heartbreaking. Cause yeah, it's I have of- a lot of great success stories in that department. Um, I can share two, yeah. two in yeah. particular. Please do. I love it. <laughs> but uh, one was uh, a older female that was a regular client of mine um, from Ocamics. Yep. So she's <laughs> retired. Um, and she got the O shot because she started, her husband had passed away many years ago. And she was back on the market. And so she met somebody and she wanted to try the O shot. And she came back and told me, Wendy, this is unbelievable. <laughs> She said, I never enjoyed sex my whole marriage. What? And she goes, if I had had this with my oh first my husband, she oh. said, things would have been so different, but I never enjoyed it. And that literally breaks my heart because sex should be enjoyable. If you're not enjoying it, like, oh, fuck, like, what's the point? Right. What, I, I, sex is supposed to be an extremely, and we're, as humans, like, we are one of the creatures that has sex for pleasure. And as women, we're the only ones with, you know, an organ that is purely for that purpose to not ever experience that with your husband. Yeah. And if she's retirement age, I mean, that's, uh, that's many, many years of intercourse that wasn't pleasant. Yeah. Oh God. She's a big spokesperson. She's like, Wendy, I'll tell anybody. Oh my God. <laughs> I love her. Oh, I'm so happy for her. Story number two, because I'm going to need to hear that one too. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a similar situation. Yeah. Um, I had a female that came to me and she's never had an orgasm. And she is in her late 50s and <sighs> um, was married twice before and now uh, met somebody on Bumble. Or yeah, one, of, one the, of those dating sites. <laughs> one of the dating sites. And um, so she... Yeah, she found out about us and was doing the hormones with us and wanted to try the O shot because she met the man of her dreams. Oh, here in yes, girl, get it. And um, so I talked to her a little bit about the clitoris stimulator yeah. because, uh, you know, I call it the clitoris sucker. Yeah. I mean, that along with the O shot is phenomenal. So, you know, to give somebody and later in life, the opportunity, opportunity like opportunity to that is so important. Like, and I, I love, I can't think of the name of the movie, but there's that movie with Emma Thompson, um, where she hires the escort and finally for the first time ever has sexual pleasure. And I'm like, Oh my God, like how many women are out there that have never experienced it? And I would say like, when I talk to my female friends, so many of them have never had true sexual pleasure. And that to me is just heartbreaking. And the fact that you can provide this service and you have these stories of these women who are suddenly later in life, suddenly realizing what amazing sex is like that's life, literally life changing. And it it really does bring relationships closer together because I think a lot of females don't want to have sex Yeah, because number one, it's it's painful. Yeah, Sex should not be painful. It's painful. And, um, so you know, we can work through ways to help with that yeah. if, if it's, um, you know, a, a discomfort yeah. thing. Also, you know, just enjoying it. And I think that husbands well, would be willing uh, or partners yes. would be willing to pay yeah. uh, well, by, for male or female yeah. just to help with that. I 100% agree with that. And I think, you know, that is so key because not only does it help with relationships, um, it also having orgasms actually has health benefits Mm -hmm. um, that we tend to just sort of like glide over, but there are a lot of health benefits from having an orgasm. And then there's the emotional and the connection with your, your partner. And I, the fact that you are helping people to achieve this is remarkable. And the fact that there are things out there to help you with these situations is amazing. And I think, you know, we all should be having healthy sex, having sex that is pleasurable because if you're having sex and it is not pleasurable and you're doing it, just for somebody else, that's not okay, to be honest. And I can't imagine being someone and wanting to have sex with someone who's not enjoying it. Like, that's kind of like assault. Like, that's not not cool. Um, so the fact that you're helping these people achieve that and it's coming from their own body is amazing. Um, Wendy, thank you so much for coming on the show and talking to us about these different options that are out there. Um, Check out where you are in your area. Find out if you have a provider that can help you with this. Um, Do not do the Groupon. No Groupons, y'all. Don't do that. (laughs) Find someone who is like legit uh, because don't have them messing with your Mm hoo-ha. No, no. Um, But Wendy, thank you so, so much for coming on. I will make sure there is a link on our uh, page so that you guys can 
reach out to her and find out more about it because uh, this is such an amazing opportunity to increase your sex drive, to increase your orgasms through sex, and then help with incontinence and other issues as well. So make sure you check her out, find out more about it. Um, and thank you again, Wendy, so much for um, coming on the show and being part of this and talking about this issue that, again, it's hard to market and talk about in a lot of different forums. So thank you for coming on here and talking about it. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Of course. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you give us some feedback and let us know how much you love this episode. All right, y'all. See you soon.